Okay, so students, here we have a question. So the, I have uh, written the given data. So he has given span and live load, grade of steel and grade of concrete. And overall depth is restricted to 650 mm. And width of beam is uh, uh, assumed as 300 mm. And FX2 cover D dash as 50 mm. And FX2 depth 600 mm. Okay, now let us. Um, solve this problem or let us design this doubly reinforced beam section so how on how i am saying this is a wbm reinforced section because the depth is restricted okay so simply uh, depth restricted in the in simple uh, wbm re reinforced section cheppalemu so you have to find out the bending moment and you have to compare that with uh, limiting bending moment uh, limiting moment okay okay let us proceed the first step that you have to do is you have to find out the effect to span effect to span le so to find out the effect to span you have uh, span plus depth so span is span is 8 meters or simply in meet I, I will substitute in meters itself 8 plus what is the depth effect to depth that is 600 so that is 0. 0.6 so it will be 8.6 meters okay or we have other condition also to find out the effect to span that is span plus half of support width on both the sides half 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 plus you can simply add uh, we can simply add one width or else uh, so here uh, you don't have uh, the supporting width so i am assuming the supporting width as Assuming supporting width. So I'm assuming the supporting width has 300 mm. Okay. So uh, while assuming the supporting width, supporting width assume just not up to you have to see that the supporting width should not be less than beam width. Beam width can't be Okay. So here beam width given has 300 mm. So I'm assuming the same value, same uh, the value should be same or greater than that. Beam with the content same and greater than beam with the nundale. Okay, so supporting width is 300. I have assumed as 300. So the formula is supporting width divided by 2 plus supporting width divided by 2. Okay, or simply I can add one supporting width. Okay, so it will be 8 plus. 0.3 by 2 plus 0.3 by 2 so it is is equal to 8.3 okay so least of this will be my effective span so that is 8.3 okay so le is equal to 8.3 meters okay so with that i have finished my first step now let us go for the second step in second step you have to find out the loads. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to find out the bending moment first. So bending moment call under we, we required L, W, right? W, L square by 8. So W, L is required. So L, I, ha, I got L. So now let us find out the W. So W is factor load. Simply factor load man can call. So factor load. So that is W. U. So, what is the factor load? It is 1.5 into dead load plus live load. So, live load he has given the question. We have to find out the dead load. So, dead load is equal to depth into width into 25 kilo meter kilo newton cube per kilo newton per meter cube. Okay. So, remember, so D should be in meters because 25 is in meters okay so d and b you have to substitute in meters okay so it, it is overall depth what is the overall depth given in the question so overall depth is 650 you have to remember these values uh, i won't uh, pratisari question in june channel so you try to remember these uh, values or whenever you want to cross check these values you can go back Video ni kudhe back chase kwa ni chudan. Right. 
اوكي so overall depth is 6 uh, 650 so in meters it will be 0.65 into width is 300 so it is 0.3 into 25 so the so the dead load will be 0.65 into 0.3 into 25 so it is 4.875 4.875 kilonewton per meter so this is a dead load so what is the live load he has given has the live load is 30 kilonewton per meter okay so now let us find out wu wu is equal to 1.5 into a dead load is 4.875 plus 30 so it is equal to 1.5 into 4.875 plus 30 so it is 52.332 so 50.32 kilo newtons per meter so this is a factor load now we got the factor load what is the next step the next step is we have to find out the bend factored bending moment factored bending moment that is mu mu okay so mu is equal to w u l e square by 8 so i'm assuming it is a simply supported beam okay so 52.32 into what is the effective span is 8.3 right l square by 8 so is equal to So fifty two, fifty two point three two into eight point three square divided by eight. So the answer is four fifty, four fifty point five four kilo newton meter. so this much movement this much bending movement i am getting okay now let us see, let us find out the factored bending moment sorry ultimate a limiting bending moment or limiting moment okay so mu limit so i hope i hope you how you go uh You, you got remembered the mu limit formulas for different grade of steels so he has he, ha, he has given fe415 so for fe415 the formula is 0.138 fck b d square so okela gurtu lekunte use code code book so in code book page number 96 you are having a big formula so in that you have to substitute xu max by d uh, value okay so this is for fe415 okay so now let us find out this value so 0.138 fck is 20 and b is 300 so here you have to substitute all the values in mm because here fck is in newton per mm mm square okay so d is 600 square okay so what is this value 0.138 into 20 into 300 into 600 square so the value you are getting we are getting has 298.08 kilo newton meter okay and if you see here here mu is greater than much greater than mu limit right so therefore we have to go for the wbm uh, w reinforced section fifth step so how much is greater so how uh, how much additional moment is there so in the additional moment excess move how much excess moment is there that you have to find out so additional moment additional moment is equal to mu minus mu limit 
okay so mu is 450.54 minus 298.08 so how much you are getting 450.54 minus 298.08 so the value is 152 152.46 kilo newton meter okay so now we got all the movements we got bending moment the and uh, limiting movement and additional movement how much extra movement is there that also we got okay now the next thing is we have to find out the ast the steel in tension the steel in uh, compression so firstly let us find out the steel in tension then we'll go for the steel in compression okay so the sixth step let us find out steel which is required for the limiting movement okay so that is ast1 for mu limit okay ante kada sir diagram chudandi so we are providing ast1 for a balanced section that is mu limit so mu limit a limiting moment he resist cheyadaniki ast1 provide chestunna okay so ast1 ela kanukochu using codal formula so you have some codal formulas so see here this is page number 96 here you are having so this formula a b in b you are having mu is equal to 0.87 fi ast b1 minus ast fi by bd fck so you can use this formula to find out ast1 okay so let us let us write this formula so mu limit is equal to 0.87 fy ast1 into d into 1 minus 0.f y into ast and fck bd okay so let us substitute all the values what is mu limit value it is 298 right 298.08 into 10 to the power of 6 because here uh, if your fy and fck in new, newton per mm so uh, uh, that is the reason i have converted this mo moment in newton per mm okay so 0 0.8787 fy value is 415 and ast that you have to find out ast1 into a d value is 600 and 1 minus 415 into ast1 you have to find out and fck is 20 300 and d value is 600 okay so simply uh, uh, try to simplify this value or use your calculator to find what is the ast1 value okay so I will use the cal calculator to find out the AST. So the answer I'm getting has one seven one five point zero seven mm squared. So calculator uses say you'll get two values. So you you have to take the least one. Okay. So calculator lo meko x values rendo side and the least one with this quality. So this is the AST one I'm getting. Okay, so for this AST one, let us uh, okay. Now we got the AST one. Let us calculate AST two. Okay, so in tension you are having AST one and AST two, right? So let us try to find out the AST two as well, so that we'll 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 get the complete total steel in tension. Okay, so this next step, the seventh step, AST two. So this is for mu additional moment, right? This is for mu additional. Okay. So how we can write the formula or simply you can use the code book. So here in the left side, here you can see the formula mu minus mu limit. So mu minus mu limit is additional moment, right? Is equal to FSC into ASC. So using this formula, we can't find out the AFSC. 
or else using this movement we can find out so look at this figure so look at this figure so you know t2 is equal to 0.87 fi into ast2 so how we can write uh, how you get the movement so this t2 force into the lever arm d minus d dash so this movement how much this movement is will be equal to the additional movement right so let us write uh, let us write the movement so mu additional is equal to 0.87 fy into ast2 force into lever arm is d minus d dash okay so we can use this formula to find out ast2 okay simply i'm equating the moments that's it okay so what is the additional movement additional movement is 152.46 so additional movement is 152.46 into 10 to the power of 6 is equal to 0 0.87 into 415 into ast2 that is what you have to find out and d is 600 minus d dash is 50 right so from this let us find out ast2 value the ast2 value that i'm getting is 767.76 so e value now i'm uh, Calcilo, uh, if you if I solve this, if I put all these values in Calci, I'm getting 767.76. Okay. Now the total, the total AST is the total AST or total steel in tension is equal to AST1 plus AST2. So what is the AST1 value? So it is 1715.07. So 1715.07 plus 767.76 is equal to 1715.07 plus 767.76. So the value is 2000, 2400. 82.83 mm square okay so for this value let us provide the steel so here itself i am providing steel providing so, so firstly let us assume assume dia of bar as 25 mm so i'm assuming 25 mm bar so the ast the area of one bar is equal to pi d square so pi d pi d into 25 square by 4 so it is 490.87 490.87 mm square so the number of bars number of bars is equal to 2482.83 divided by so i'm how i'm writing this ast divided by small ast complete area of area of steel divided by one bar area 2482.83 divided by or else here uh, you can round, round it also or no problem uh, 290.87 so is equal to 2482.83 divided by 490.87 so the value is 5.05 or 06 5.06 so let us provide six bars Okay, so if you provide six bars, then provided steel will be greater than the required steel. Okay, so here you have to check for the provided AST. So the provided AST is greater than AST required. Okay, so the great uh, what is the required AST here? 
it is 2482.83 okay and provided ast is 6 into 5 25 bars correct 25 uh, size bar so 6 into 5d square by 4 so if you do this you will get the provided ast and you 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 should also check for the minimum steel so here here itself i'm checking for the minimum steel also so check for minimum ast or ast minimum so what is the formula for ast minimum so ast minimum is equal to 0 0.85 b into d divided by fy okay so just try to substitute all these values 0 0.85 into b is 300 into d is 600 divided by 415 so the ast minimum will be 0 0.85 into 300 into 600 divided by 415 so the value is 368 so it is much lesser than ast provided so therefore okay so whatever you are designing is safe okay now therefore that the, that is how we have finished the steel required in tension now we have to find out the steel required in compression so we have calculated this now we have to find out the area of steel required in compression that is asc so what is this step number step number eight asc for mu additional so area of steel in compression for what we are providing for additional movement right additional movement ki manam compression lo steel provide chestunna right so for this you can use the codal uh, codal formula the formula which is given in the codal that is mu minus mu limit is equal to fsc asc into d minus d dash okay so mu minus mu limit is nothing but additional movement right so let us write this formula so mu additional mu additional movement is equal to fsc that is stress in compression steel into area of compression steel into d minus that is liver arm, d minus d dash liver arm. okay so you know the asc value and you know the d and d dash value and you have to find out fsc so this fsc fsc can be uh, calculated using the special practice 16 sp16 code book so sp16 code book will give you SP, uh, fsc value based on d dash by d ratio so here what is the d dash by d ratio 50 divided by 600 right so 50 divided by 600 is 0 0.08 0 0.08 okay so let us see the special edition 16 sp16 so this is a sp16 code book page number 13 in page number 13 you are having a curve. you are having a table f so in table f you can see these are the fsc values okay so based on d dash by d so for 0 0.05 the fsc value is 355 for grade of con grade of steel 415 for 415 for 0 0.05 d dash by d the value is 355 and for 0 0.1 the value is 353 okay so let us so we got 0 0.08 so in between we got so we have to interpolate so interpolation chase you have to find out the between value okay so let us write these values so at 0 0.05 the value is 355 and at 0 0.08 we don't know let us take this value as x at 0 0.1 the value is 353 okay so how we can find out this value just 
try to, uh, using similar triangles you can find so let us try to draw this uh, graph so here this is 0 0.05 so at 0 0.05 the value is 355 and let us consider, consider as this is 0 0.1 at 0 0.1 the value is 353 and somewhere here you will have 0 0.08 so it's 0 0.08 you don't know the that value okay so this value we know, don't know so we are considering this, uh, we are taking as x okay so for similar triangles so what is the distance up to uh, what is this distance so this distance will be uh, 0 0.1 minus 0 0.05 right so this is 0 0.05 this distance is so what is this distance so what is this distance so this how you will get this that distance so 355 minus 353 so this value is 2 okay and what is the this uh, what is this distance So 0 0.1 minus 0 0.08. So this is this is 0 0.02. So this is 0 0.02. Okay. So using similar triangles, at zero for a, at a increase at a horizontal of 0 0.05. So at a 0 0.05, what is the increase? Two, right? So it's 0 0.05. The the vertical is two is equal to at 0 0.02 0 0.02 it is x right oh sorry this is not x this will be x minus 353 so it allows in manaki 355 minus 353 right so it allows in the 0 0.05 allows in the 0 0.0 0 0.1 minus 0 0.05, right? So our values just say the chin. Okay. So now let us find out what is the x value. So x value can call and zero. I'm writing in terms of x. X is equal to 0 0.02 into 2 divided by 0 0.05 and this minus 353 i have to send to that side so it will become plus 353 okay so put these values in calci 0 0.02 into 2 divided by 0 0.05 plus 353 so the value is the x is equal to 353.8 newton per mm squared so stress units okay we got the fsc so this is a fsc value okay now let us substitute the all values in uh, mu additional so that we can calculate asc okay so mu additional is mu additional is equal to or else here itself i will uh, okay it's, it's okay i will uh, substitute here so mu additional is 152 point 152 point how much 152 point 152.46 so 152.46 into into 10 to the power of 6 is equal to fsc value is 353 so I'm, i again i will write the formula so that you don't uh, confuse how to the additional is equal to fsc into asc into d minus d dash okay so fsc is 353.8 and asc you have to find out and d value is 600 600 and d dash is 50 right so let us find out if asc value asc is equal to 
so the value is 783.5 mm square okay so this is the area of steel required in compression okay now let us provide steel for this in terms of number of bars so i'm assuming 20 mm uh, dia okay so ast will be area of one bar will be pi d square by 4 pi d square by 4 is equal to 314 314.16159 mm square okay now let us find out the number of bars required in compression bars in compression is equal to asc divided by so let us take this as small asc so asc since it is compression steel so let us write like that so asc value is 783.5 divided by 314.159 so is equal to 783.5 divided by 314.159 so you are getting 2.49 bars so we'll we can provide three bars okay so three bars we are provided so therefore asc provided is greater than asc required okay so that is how we can find out the steel in compression and tension. So at the end, we can show this in a diagram uh, diagram representation as a last step, that is ninth step. So this is, a, this is my B and in tension, I'm having six bars. So these are the six bars, six bars of size. All are of, all are having these are six bars of 25 mm diameter, and in top, I'm having three bars, three bars of three bars of 20 mm diameter. Okay, and around this even you can store the you can show the stir up also. If you want, you can show the stir up as well because stir up will be you uh, generally stir up catch thang auntadi. So you can show the stir up like this. Okay, so this is how we can design the uh, doubly reinforced beam section. If you, I hope you have understood. Once again, go through this. Thank you all.